Okay guys, in this video I'm going to talk to you about a SoundCloud account maker that I'm making. I'm doing this video raw, unedited um, and uncut. Um, I, what got me thinking was I'm making, um, starting to make a uh, product for a client. Okay, as you can guess it's something related to SoundCloud. Okay, and I just started it off and I thought lots of the things that I do at the start are stuff that we just covered in the get started section and I just thought I could take you through the process of how you can get started with bots, how I think, do something a bit um, raw and what I'm going to do is um, what I've made in the process that I've done, I'm going to put it under the video as a um, as a project so that you can download it and you can load it into bash yourself and um, go from there kind of uh, make it better improve it because I'm, I'm gonna leave it raw and unedited so it'll give you food for thought and then of course if you're a paid member you can come into the group and you can kind of get tips and kind of uh, talk with me and other members and kind of see what you can do with it so it's just gonna be like a, a, your own little project from um, the base of what I'm doing and you can move it on from there. So what I've done so far, like I do with most bots, is I know that I'm gonna want threads, a different amount of threads. Um, I know that I'm gonna to wanna to have run the bot more than once, or I call it a success number, how many times it's run and how many fails. If there's a certain number of fails then I want the bot to stop because something is obviously up. So I made them resources. Um, I also ran through SoundCloud uh, dot com and looked and um, it asks you for an email address so I um, used a resource and it reads from a list of emails that I've already got and then the next thing it asks you for a password okay so what I've made it do is generate a random password using uh, a resource which is a random string generator and for that string it picks a random female name, a letter, a letter, a digit, a letter, and then an upper vowel. So if we test, we can see it makes them like this. So that's all well and good. So I'm gonna take you under the hood of the bot now. So I'm making, and show you where we've got to so far. So um, this is an old, <laughs> laptop so it might run a little bit slow I'm away at the moment and I had to um, make do with a laptop that um, was not my original laptop so um, it's one of the old ones from about 1981 <laughs> okay so the first step that I've made so far it loads soundcloud.com which is a good place to start the connection is really slow guys like I said this is going to be an unedited video just to show you how it really happens because um, it doesn't matter if you've been doing this for years and years, you still have to go through a process, see what works and what doesn't and problem solve. There's always a problem that you need to fix and there's more than one way to skin a cat. So just, you know, this method is just one way you could go of making this bot, but it's gonna be food for thought. So the next thing it's gonna move and click on the create account button and then it's gonna move on to move onto this element. I've not made it just text type, I've made it move the mouse first for a kind of bit of human emulation. And then it's gonna text, it. sorry, it's gonna write the text. This is the first email address that I had it in a file, which was an email resource. And then it's gonna click the continue button and then it's gonna ask for a password. So the next step is it moved um, the mouse onto the form and clicked then um, it's going to put in a password. I showed you it's a generated email, um, generated password from the prototype that I gave. And then it's going to solve recapture, which I've covered in other videos, how to um, how to do recapture. So if, if you need to brush up on that, go ahead. But like I said, this is going to be uh, saved and put under this video um, in its raw format. So you can just load this into Bass and you can have a muck around yourself and kind of get used to stuff and add to it. Uh, so we're gonna solve the recapture. Could take, as you're probably aware, it, sometimes it takes 10 seconds, sometimes five minutes. So it just depends on um, how busy they are over at 2Capture. In this case, I'm using 2Capture 
you, d you don't have to it's just a service that i recommend they're the guys that seem to do the best job at the time of this video being made so there you go it's done so it's going to hit the accept and then it's going to ask us for um an age so what i've done just before um first of all it clicks sorry it clicks on the tell us your age um tab there and then what i've done is i've made it make a random number between 18 and 40 and it's going to save it into a variable called random number i've got this from the tools section you can see there's an option to make a random number okay so it's going to put a number between 18 and 40 in there okay the next thing i've told it to do is to click on the combo box to select gender and then set the combo box and then the value so i just for now i've just made it it's always going to choose the value male but you don't have to do it this way and it clicks continue and then that's as far as i got so the next thing that you would do is um choose a display name or we call it a username so just for now i'm going to move and click on the element hit OK and then I'm going to text type and for now I'm going to say Dino bad man one to one well, that will do for a username for now hit OK and then I'm going to hit I'm sorry I'm going to move and click on the element get started There you go, and we have an account, simple as that. The next thing you'd want to do to add to this is obviously um, you could add an email account verifier, which is on a separate video. Um, I might add it to this uh, to the project before I give it over to you, we'll, we'll see. So I'm just going to come out of there. And I know that I need to use this now. I'm going to create the username we we'll call it um make username and it's gonna be a random string and i'm gonna make it so the username uses this string it's gonna be a girl's name first name and then it's gonna be an uppercase two digits and then a surname let's test that these are what some of the usernames, a random username would come out like. Done and finish. There you go. So then the last thing I'd need to do here, or the next thing I need to do, I should say. Come down here and where we put in the username Dino Badman1211 swap that over for the resource that we called um, make username so then it would pick it would make a username out of the random string that we just made and that's that guys as you can see for the threads i made a resource called threads so i've just edited it up here success number and fails like we've done previously yeah and that's it guys so that took me about there was a couple of errors uh, like the recapture wasn't working and so on and so forth it took me about 20 minutes to make okay so it's kind of apart from the um verifying the email obviously you could add human ele um, human <laughs> human emulation that we've talked about in previous videos you could add fingerprinting okay you could add which I, i'm going to do for the client obviously but this is just to give it to you raw and the project so that you can add to it yourself you could add proxy support in fact have a look um i'm going to do that now i think ah ding 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 i told you this video is a uh, uh, unedited and raw so first of all i'm going to make a resource i'm going to call it proxies make it Take lines from a file in this case, any read, and then can use the proxy. Uh, no, no, I'm just going to use 
once per line because I can always change that. There you go, and then come into record and then add the proxy list. Um and proxies. And then simple as in this case, I'm just going to come here and put go to the browser top of the toolbox and then proxy and then simply put in the resource that we just made. So we'll just it will pick um, the first one from the list of I'm um, sorry, we made a resource called proxies um, which um, then goes and reads a, a file uh, that we just gave it. And it will take the proxy from there and then that's what it will use uh when it loads the soundcloud bot when it loads soundcloud i should say so there you go now we've added proxy support so this is very basic okay guys there's, there's so much you could add to this but i just wanted to give you something raw um out there to play with okay it's a, a good example to build on if you're a paid member obviously let's discuss what you could do with it and show me what you've done show, show the other um, other people and we can learn together but this gives you something to um get your teeth stuck into guys um yeah so i hope that's going to be useful to you and i will see you guys in the next video